Hi, welcome to another edition of Pleasure. I'm your host, Dr. Charlie Ferrer, and I'm here with one of my all-time favorite authors, um, Jacqueline Frank, who's going to talk to us a little bit about how she started writing, how she's inspired, and all the wonderful books that she has coming up in the near future. So stay tuned as we bring her on and welcome her to Pleasure. So thank you for being uh, with us here today. Thank you for coming here. Yeah. yeah, and we're here. I should also mention that we're here at Authors After Dark Conference in Secaucus, New Jersey, and it's a wonderful event that they put on. Jacqueline Frank and um, Joey Hill and um, Stella Price all get together and put on this amazing conference with tons of authors, and they get food and you get liquor and you get to talk to your favorite awesome authors and you can ask them any questions that you want to so I get to ask all my favorite questions from from all the books and I also got one of her new books coming up the bed which um, which is being released in when October um, it's uh, uh, September 28th it's September 28th day, so and uh, we consider that enough release yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got it first <laughs> so um, tell me how did you get inspired to write um, where does it come from my mom pushed me out of her womb and there was a pen there so I just snatched it out <laughs> started writing so you've been writing since since well, infancy uh, well mm. actually it, it started when I was uh, a teenager and I was reading these teen romances uh -huh. I was about 13 years old and I was just and my mother was, my stepmother was listening to me go, <sighs> like that one day. She's like, what? What is the matter? I'm like, this thing sucks. I could do better than this. And she's like, well, so why didn't you do better than this? And I'm like, uh, I don't have a typewriter. She's like, goes into her bedroom, takes a typewriter, plops it down in front of me. You have a typewriter. Uh, does it have a ribbon? Yes, it has a ribbon. I don't have paper. <laughs> paper. No more excuses no now, more do ya? And I'm like, all right. And that was the start. <laughs> and that was the start. And you write some amazing books. The first book I ever read of yours that actually made me your fan was Jacob. And I and I read it and I'm like, oh my God, and I stayed up all night, so it's your fault I was late for work. <laughs> <laughs> and I read it all like, you know, from from the minute I picked it up to till it was over and in the morning at like six o'clock in the morning I'm calling and going I'm gonna be late for work I'm sorry <laughs> and then I just kept following you and, and following the entire Nightwalker series and then jumping into the shadow, the, the shadow dwellers and stuff and it's like okay why isn't she writing more I'm finished with this one I need the next one I need the next one everybody says that <laughs> exactly and so you know you have so many books out and you write so awesomely where do you find the time to to write? In the beginning, it was because I really didn't have time, didn't do anything else except sit in my house all day long and just write because I was actually very sick and and um, and uh, I couldn't get, I couldn't really walk very well or anything. So basically, my world centered around my television and my laptop or my computer or whatever. So I would just sit and write for hours. And, and so writing kept you sane. It was how I, you know, it kept me sane. It was my escape. It was how I had relationships. It was it was you know, it was uh, all that vicariousness in, in one, one spot. Yeah. And I actually went to your. Um, I I do this awesome stuff here. I I went to your website and I went to um, your blogs and stuff and I grab little things here and there and some questions that people have and it said here um, you know that you had you made a comment of I'm I'm barely alive and I am bright and energetic and, and you want it to be that way and you actually had um, surgery recently yeah. um, and so now after that surgery feeling more comfortable with yourself feeling able to to do more things Right. Well, that's that. That, like I was saying, I was very, very sick. I was, uh, I was extremely overweight. I was three hundred and sixty-five pounds at my worst, and um, I um, I suffer from fibromyalgia. So um, all of that weight on top of having fibromyalgia. I mean, you could be, you could be one hundred and ten pounds and have fibromyalgia. Right. It's really, really horrible. But then you put another, you know, 
200 pounds on top of that and then it just makes it it's unbearable and um i had no energy no social life i, I mean there were a lot of different things going on at, at once not only the, was there the weight issue i i was undiagnosed bipolar i was you know a, a, an obsessive compulsive uh, agoraphobic i would yeah say. I, I saw that you were classifying yourself with everything under the sun and and what i find that's so inspirational is that you're actually so open about it and and you're an inspiration to other women who find themselves in that situation and saying you know you really can do more for yourself you really can make a difference in your own life. It's funny because at the time, I didn't think that at all. I didn't think that at all. I thought, this is it. This is it. This is just it. Day after day after day after day. And 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 um, it doesn't get any better than this. And I'm, you know, so that was all the more reason for the need for escapism, you know. Mm -hmm. And I actually was so, um, um, so, um, God, the word that's coming to mind is fakakta, you know, <laughs> I, was so, I was so choked up with my, all my little fears and all my, my, my phobias. And, and all the stuff that you were dealing with, you oh, were dealing yeah, with was, a lot of issues. Uh, I, I, I didn't even try to get published. I never, ever, ever made an attempt to get published. Never once. And, and what did you do? Your mom took your stuff and nope. took it to the publisher? How did they nope. find you? I, because I would be totally, I, I, I would have well, lost something if you, if you weren't around. Because I get a lot from your books. And I, and I look at it from the perspective of you bring issues in your books that, that anyone can, can relate to or has experience. And, and not in a preachy way, but it's like, okay, let me, let me, yes, there's, let me, know. let me get myself together and move. And it's like, yeah, I should, you know, <laughs> I should do the same thing or I can do the same thing. You know, if her character can do it, I can do it. <laughs> the, the thing was, is actually I, um, I was, see, when I was in that place that I was describing to you, I had nothing except my writing. That was it. It was my one last uh, dream. You know how like you always we all we all we all grow up and we all go oh, one day I want to get married and that was my dream I was a dream one of my dreams oh well maybe I'll have children and that was a dream and as one of each one of these dreams fell aside and this was never gonna happen this is never gonna happen this is never gonna happen and uh, finally it came down to I only had one left as far as I was concerned and that was my writing and that was precious to me it was like the hope diamond in the museum with all the little woo -woo, and you can't come near this dream i will not take chances with it that's why i wouldn't put it out you wouldn't the put it out there because could you imagine being in that state being that kind of fragile person and getting rejection letters from publishers it yeah. would have been it would have been horrible. horrible. So, um, and I think my friends <laughs> were like, actually on the verge of, I'm gonna submit your stuff behind your back kind of a thing, because you just, just gotta do it. And, and I didn't know that, but um, what eventually happened was uh, I, uh, I, a, a very, a, a, an author that I like, Lori Foster, she was holding a contest on her website, and the contest had nothing to do with the things that I like to write about. Uh -huh. uh, it was either contemporary or historical, and I was always paranormal and things, the fantastical, all this stuff. And she was holding this contest, and I had like maybe two weeks to enter this contest, and all you could submit was three pages. Well, I couldn't just make up three pages. I had to write an entire story in a two-week <laughs> time period, and then we had to agonize over which three.